Don't be shy, cause I, the life won't bring you down too far. Cassius IFL TV MTK Global. Uh, we're at Fight Camp Week Three, uh, joined by Nev Mansuri. Nev, uh, a tough one for you tonight. Yeah, not a good one to be honest with you. We didn't uh, perform the way we should have. We didn't go to plan. You know, we had a lot better plan, and I just was a bit of sluggish. I think you know, with without being active, I felt it a little bit. Trying to get going, trying to get going, and just everything was slow. But let my team down. Uh, and to be honest with you, a bit, bit of frustration in the fight, and that was the thing. A little bit of uh, inactivity, where I was trying to force force everything rather than let everything flow. But live and learn. Live and learn. Well, I, I, listen, I can tell you, you've definitely not let anyone down. I know that's yeah. how you're going to feel, but you haven't let anyone down, as Kev just said there. But uh, you made a decent start to the fight. Yeah, very, because I was expecting a fast start from him. He's a, he's a fast starter, and I'm a slow starter. And I warm into the fights. That's that's why we're warming up really straight away in change room. We're warming up really good to go out there and get on to him straight away, which we did. And by the time rather than picking it up, I slowed down a little bit, let him in, and I started getting frustrated when I was trying to chase and throw power rather than let everything flow like I was doing at the start. And you know, you get desperate, it gets worse. And what can we say? <laughs> it's one of them. But devastated, I let everyone down, you know, time out for my family. I missed my son's birthday as well, two years old, let him down. But it's boxing and it? it's life. We're doing it for the family and hopefully we get a chance again. But a very good camp. Uh, just even talking to Kev, I think I would like to do a welterweight because I did the camp really well uh, with, with uh, what's he called, with Ricky up in... Tilbury, what's it called, the uh, place? Uh, PWR. Yeah, PWR, Jim. And, you know, them, those guys have done a hell of a job with me fitness-wise. I didn't feel unfit at all. I just felt a bit sluggish because of inactivity. And I've really, really let everybody down around me, to be honest. Devastated with the performance. My family, friends. It is what it is. Uh, obviously, people know that it's not like you haven't been on the scene, but there's been a, a quite a chunk of time there where obviously for injuries and also you, you, you being abroad as well, that a lot of people didn't even know you were still fighting as well. No, no yeah, a lot, a lot of people were like, oh, you're fighting. I got, I got a lot of messages. Whoa, you're back in England, you're fighting. I said, yeah, I'm back. But it was a perfect fight to come back to. And originally I was supposed to fight in March to get a warm up before I was going to fight him in April. So I thought I'd get the rust off a little bit and then get into this kind of fight. And uh, to get out of that mentality because, you know, bro, I've been living in Marbella and, you know, you just get sluggish, you're just tapping around with everybody. You get into like a sparring mentality, just taking and giving, taking and giving, you know, type of thing. So that was the mentality a little bit. I've had a very good camp. I can't complain about the camp I've had with these guys. Kev has put right a lot of time in with me. Everything's been 100%, but just didn't go to the plan the way I wanted it to, to be honest. Devastated, and I don't know, I don't know where, where we can go from here. I like to do well to weight because of uh, I've made the weight a lot, lot easy. I did it really good. I like to do well to weight and come back in if, if there is a chance for me. But I like to see what my team MTK are going to do for me now. Hopefully they get me out. But right now, as as low as you can be, I'm low. <laughs> I'll tell you the honest truth, and I let my son down. Well, listen, we know that's how you're going to think, but you shouldn't think like that. But, uh, you know, it's understand, uh, understandable the way you think. But I'm not going to take too much of your time. I just appreciate you giving us a little Thank bit of time. Uh, like I said, they're both MTK fighters, so you and Kieran. And it was a good scrap to watch. It's no consolation to you, but it was a good yeah. scrap to watch. So, yeah, no, uh, I'm credit to him. Yeah. Really, really, no, he boxed really well. You know, I was expecting him to box like he did anyways. I was expecting him to do what, what he did. And, you know, but I was expecting him to start off a lot, lot faster than usual. And he didn't, he come off a bit stronger uh, towards the end. And that's why I was trying to like, force it rather than uh, I start off slow and then I pick it up. And I went all the way around as Kev was telling me, come on, get moving, I'm getting sluggish and taking punches like I'm not bothered. Um, just, just let myself down, let my team down. And that's the hard bit, to be honest.
but I can't, I can't, I can't complain. I can't complain. I want to thank everybody. I want to thank all my sponsors, putting everything to me, having the trust in me, um, and my team and TK for getting me this opportunity, Eddie Hearn, match room. Hopefully we can get back out and in welterweight. <laughs> uh, sorry, Nev. I'm trying to hold my tripod here and trying to listen to you as well. I know. Kev, you should have come out and helped me out with this, mate. Just literally hold it there. <laughs> it's all over the shot. Kev, I'm sorry, mate. No, because it's not meant to be spread out like... What are you doing? <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Nev, apologies, mate. Honestly, I'm not professional at the best of times, but that was very unprofessional. Apologies. Um, all right, well, listen... Um, Maybe a little bit of time out for yourself and uh, like City, I'm sure you'll come yeah. back, mate. Yeah, no, definitely. I hope so. You know, we're doing this for the family. Uh, and I've let them down. I've missed my son's birthday, second's birthday. So, I really want to make it up to them. Yeah, but hopefully, Friday, hopefully fun. we'll get back out. And I'd like to get back out as soon as because this loss has, has kind of like make me feel like I'm done type thing, but I don't want to be done. But I don't know. I want to see what my team wants to do for me and where they can send me, really. See well, listen, if anyone can do it for you, MTK can, and you know that. They are the man. They are the man, aren't they? They're running the show now. They're running the boxing world. So I'm sure they'll come up with a plan for me. So I just got to sit tight, keep fit. I like to go back in straight away because I don't want to... If I do stop, I think I'll hit depression <laughs> because it is depressing. You know, you put all the time, effort in and staying away from family and everything. Uh, it's not easy. It's not easy. You know that yourself, boxing, living a lonely life and you're trying to do it but it is what it is we got to do what we can in life and you know that yourself nothing's easy absolutely not otherwise everyone will be doing it yeah. Nev Mansouri thank you very much for talking to IFL TV God bless you and hopefully we'll catch up with you soon alright thank you my man thank you <laughs> top man thank you.